Oh my goodness. We here. We out here. Bash fam coming in hot with the ultimate masters, baby. God damn. This that spice I do like. Yes. Search. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. What's up, Bash fam? Nate, welcome to the live stream, bro. Welcome, welcome. It's about to get nutsos over here. It's about to get nutsos. Just get some tunes chilling in the back. Just getting them tunes in the back. There we go. Bada bing. What's up, brother? Hope you're well this evening. What up, Car Drummer Jake? I'm doing fantastic, bro. Thanks for asking. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jameen, hope you got that popcorn ready, dude. Get ready to start throwing it all over your room, bro. Good luck. Let me know if the music's too loud or not loud enough. All right. Let's get this. Get this rolling here. Get some names drawn out here. Obi, Obi Wan Kenobi of the Krizel, the Krizib, Michael, Michael Butler, all the way over from the UK. He will get to watch this tomorrow. Jameen. That's spot number three. What's up, Dan Lay? What's up, Trista Terry? Jermaine. Jeffrey Price. Boom. Jermaine, you're going back. You're going back over here, Jermaine. You're getting back over in the corner. Get in your corner. Eddie Lopez at number five. Bada bang. Guys, this is going to be nuts. Okay. And everyone in this battle. Man, you guys are fighting for some juice, man. The person who gets the highest CMC is in, uh, in a tough spot. They got to choose between the box topper... Of this entire box. Or a VIP pack. Value wise. VIP all the way. But. Uh, <laughs> I have seen. Somebody pull straight dumpster fire. In one of these battles. And then. Uh, somebody else pulled a box topper Liliana. So it's sketchy as hell. It is sketchy as hell. So I don't know what to tell you man. Best of luck to you. What's up Justin Best dude. Listen to this guy. Maybe ask Justin for you pick. Pick for you. Because that dude's got some stupid luck lately. Or we can get Chris Walker in here. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. The old buck knife. Homie buck knife coming out of here from prison live. Okay. Um, let's go ahead. Let's get right into this. Let's go ahead and bust this open. Open. Come on. Great North over here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and bust this open. Open. Shuffle the packs up. Divvy them out. Can you imagine if we opened this sucker and then, boop, there was no box topper? How? I, I don't even know. Oh, there it is. There's the beauty. Let's see. Let's see the curve in it. Yo, it feels like there's uh, two in here. It feels like there's two box toppers in here. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just pulling your chain. It does feel like a, it's, there's probably not two box toppers in there. But it does feel a little thicker than normal. That's what she said. 
Anyways, let's get all the packs out. Let's count them up. Make sure we got all of our juicy goodness. Dude, these packs are going up to 18 bucks a pack on the low, on TCG low. 18 bucks a pack. That's how crazy this shit's getting, man. This shit getting wild now. Oh, the holy grail. I watched a video on YouTube one time of somebody opening a hundred of those. I'm like, oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bada bing. We're groovy, Bass Man. We're groovy. We're ready to go. Let's shuffle this up. Shuffle this up a few times. I want it to be rando rand. I don't know what just happened there. Oh, those Liliana packs are beautiful, beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Get that, get, get that. Let's shuffle this pile up a couple times, and then we'll split it up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's looking mint. That is looking minty fresh, bro. What even happened there in that last roll? I don't know. Here we go. Divvying them up. Four packs per person. I'll be starting us off nice with a Liliana, Michael, Jameen. You also got a Lily, a couple of Carney boys here. And then we get into the Tamos. And then we'll go backwards this way. Come back with it. Come back with it. You know what I'm saying? Come back with it one time. And then we'll do one, two, two. Oh my damn, stupid work laptop won't let me watch on the big screen. Damn, Tom Moore, that's trash, dude. Two, three, four. I hope someday to be as good as you are at shuffling. Tried with my last pack harder than it looks. Dude, it took me, uh, took me a little bit to get that down, bro. I actually had to watch <laughs> Matt Ellis do it a few times. I'm like, how the hell is he doing that? Now, I can't do that shit with my deck, bro. Uh, I've seen some crazy shuffling with decks. I mean, I can do something, but nothing of that magnitude. Everybody's got their packs. We all know the drill. I'm being told today that is currently now called total mana value, but we're still going with CMC, converted mana cost. Tonight's battle consists of highest CMC gets to choose between the box topper or a VIP double masters VIP pack. And then the lowest CMC of this battle gets the corresponding prize. So let's say top chooses this, lowest gets the VIP back, and vice versa. Get the HDMI adapter for the iPhone. Worth the money. Knew I should have brought my personal into work tonight. Yeah, word. Word on the street. Okay. So first up on tonight's agenda, we have Obi Cortez. So not only are we fighting for that juice... The non-GMO, the ghost pepper to the face, and everything above. Ultimate Masters has some straight fire cards in it, okay? Cards that are worth hundreds of dollars. I mean, it, it Mana Vault is way up there in price right now. Over $100. Um, Liliana is up there. Snapcaster Mage. Demonic Tutor. Dude, I, I just... I'd stop. I can't. I can't. So many good rares. Like... Oh, man. Okay, Obi. Pack number one for you. Uh, these are Japanese, so it's going to be right in the front. So what is it? Like, do that or something? Should we do that for every pack? We can. I'm down to do that. All right, here we go. Here we go. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Ooh, an Entomb and a Demonic Tutor. What a first pack. Oh, my God. What a first pack. A Foil Entomb. If all of those were flip flop, but damn, what a first pack! Three CMC to boot, a four. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Oh my damn! Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Oh my damn! Okay, so first off, you got three. Let's go ahead and sleeve those up real quick. 
Woo! Spice off the bat, dude. Spice off the rip. Oh, my God. Um, if you guys have ever seen... I've sponsored, sponsored a couple of these booster boxes. One of them being on Cards with Michael. It was a few months ago on his channel. Maybe like four or five months ago. And I pulled some straight fire out of that box. Foil Mana Vault and a Foil Demonic Tutor in the same box. And a Foil Creeping Tar Pit in the same box. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so we got three CMC that first pack. Oh, man, what a first pack. That was spicy. That was some, that was some value, my friend. That was some value right off the get-go. That's what I'm talking about, bro. That's that shit I love. Okay, so one, two, three. Damn, wanted to see a lighthouse. <laughs> Nobody wants to see the lighthouse. All right, Obi, pack number two for you, my friend. May the wizard gods forever be in your favor. Another foil rune snag and all is dust. That's like six bucks for seven CMC. So, holy shit. I just did, I just realized that's seven CMC. So that's going to put you at 10. That's uh, that's pretty good there, my friend. That's looking righteous. Uh, you do need a pick-me-up after the first battle you had this morning. Uh, that was brutal, dude. You On the very last card, very last pack, you were taken out of the lead. Oh, man. Are you guys excited for Strixhaven, dude? That, that was it, April 23rd? Starts coming out, starts rolling out. Eternal Witness, nice value right off there. Nice, nice. Got a ton of pre-orders from patrons and more. I uh, got so many boxes coming in. Archaeomansa and a Balefire Dragon. You got a Mythic? This has actually been going up a little bit in price, and it's another 7 CMC to the freaking face, dude. Jesus. Somebody get a, this man a fire extinguisher. Holy smothering tithe. I think this dude right here off the rip is going to get the highest CMC. Like those are some heavy numbers, bro. Coming in hot. Hot, dude. Oh, my God. Cabin of Souls, dude. That'd be dope to pull. I mean, not for CMC-wise, but, dude, just so much value in this set. Oh, my goodness. Obi, you're doing good, man. You're doing really good, dude. Yeah, I'm looking forward to my two collector boxes I'm getting from you. you yeah, dude. They're, this set's going to be spicy for sure. Um, there's going to be some sought afterness for the draft boosters, let me tell you guys. A Grave Strength and a Rhea Dawnbringer for nine. Dude, without a doubt, if somebody beats you, that is going to be a kick to the nuts, bro. That is going to be a kick to the nuts. Everyone right now, look at that. That is so much CMC. 3 plus 7 is 10 plus 7 is 17 plus 9 is 26, dude. Get out of here. Get out of here, bro. Oh, my God. 7, 7, 3, 9, 26 CMC, dude? Jesus. Somebody help this man. Somebody get him a fire extinguisher because I think he just took the lead. You put a lot of pressure on everybody, Obi. You really set the bar real freaking high. That's insane. I will cry if somebody beats me after earlier today. Yeah, you had 25 CMC earlier today. Somebody came out of nowhere with like 36 CMC, like in the last pack. I was like, what? Michael Butler, buddy, I know you're sleeping. So if you're, oh God, I forget what he told me. I can't even look at my messages right now. I think he's going to want the VIP pack if he does get the first place. He wants the VIP pack. So he's hunting for the swords. Pack number one for you, buddy. Rest up and then resting up in the UK right now. Mr. Michael Butler. Those are some nice packs. You definitely even hit a little value in those packs, let alone hitting 26 CMC. Buddy, that's a lot of CMC for this set. Yikes. Pack number one for Mr. Michael Butler is a dig through time for eight. Woo it's starting it off righteous with an 8 CMC to the freaking gnome. Oh boy, oh boy. Obi's already got sweat dripping in the eyes. Ay, 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 caramacito. Oh yeah. That shit's a uh, little nut nutty for me, man. Dude, I used to do so many box wars. I used to buy in so many razzes and I had to cool off, dude, because that shit was getting way too intense. And now just watching these battles, I'm like, man, I miss this shit, dude. This is so much fun being in battles like these. The hype is insane. 
Oh my God. Okay. Um, here we go. Pack number two for Mr. Michael Butler. We've got a Gurmog Engla. Oh, Danny boy, you dirty son of a bitch. Oh man, card liberated for seven drops in a face. Obi, 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 Obi. Dude, this is getting sketchy as fuck for you, man. Excuse my language. I'm just hyped as hell right now. I love opening master sets, especially double masters VIP packs, ultimate masters, and double masters regular booster boxes. You got them all in one, Bashel. It's just crazy over here right now. I don't even have my water with me. Holy shit, where's my water? Damn it, I need some water. Somebody help. Michael Butler's sleeping like a baby, dreaming about freaking cotton fields and rainbows and shit. And he's pulling spice, dude. Oh, my God. Dude, okay. Pack, pack number three. Can you get this man a freaking Mana Vault or Cabin of Souls just to cool off? And that's sad saying, like, that's to cool off. Oh, my God. Appetite for Brains, bro. Look at you. Get out of here. It looks like a Goosebump title or a cover. I used to read the shit out of Goosebump books, man. This is going to be crazy, says Chris Walker. Let's hope, Jeff Price says. Oh, man. Okay, Buried Alive. Um, banned, but very good. A Raging Ravine. Okay, he cooled off, dude. Definitely pulled some just dumpster fire right now for zero CMC. Obi, dude, breathe. Take a breath, dude. He just got zero. He just got zero CMC. He's sitting at 15 right now. Take a breath. He's on his last pack. Holy shit, man. He was really pushing for it, too. He was really pushing your limits there, buddy. I was nervous for you, Doc. But you need to take a breath. A breath of fresh air, dude. Go sun salutations on him. Namaste. Whatever you got to do. Take a breath, bro. Okay. Golgari thug, bro. Rune snag. Somebody going to snag this top lead here right now? I don't even think you... You'd have to get a foil rare and a rare. Yeah, not going to happen. And a lava claw reaches. Okay, so... Two lands for zero, putting you at a whopping 15. So I don't like this spot. 15 is still pretty high as far as, you know, like uh, potentially getting the low spot. So there's still a, little a lot of room for growth here for the rest of the people that are battling. Uh, guys, you got to get lower than 15 or higher than 26. Jameen Padilla Cole. Cole, Cole, Cole. Hey, yo, dude. Uh, you've been asking for the past two days. Where's the spice? Tag me some shit. Okay, this is it, buddy. You got you got to prove yourself now. You you came up to the table, a lot of a big appetite. I don't want you to just go ahead and get an appetizer. I want you to get a full course meal here. Okay. Good luck, Mr. Jameen. At least give the man some spice, dude. What do we got? Two mythics so far out of this box. A Karn and a Balefire. Oh my God. And a demonic tutor. Where's the tomb? Where's the tombs? Where's the altars, dude? Those altars, insane in price right now. Good lord. Swift Reckoning, Deranged Decision. I'm kind of feeling deranged. This is me right now. Like, I I'm kind of mad in the head. Um, Boy, oh boy, Jameen. Good luck. What is that? Oh, Sig Signature. Okay. Vengeful Rebirth, dude. That card's actually juicy! You son of a bitch! Yikes, dog. Oh, mamacita, come on, say it, don't say it, ain't so. Cavernous souls, baby. Ooh. For zero. Oh, my God. That This is the spice of the meat, the ball sandwich. Okay, so there's potentially one more mythic left in this box. But the countless rares that you can hit out of this box is unrealistic. Okay, that was the spicy first pack. You've already gone through your appetizers. What are you going to order for your full course meal? Is it ghost pepper? Did you order the ghost pepper? Because it's looking like you're going to get a ghost pepper. Hopefully you don't get shot down with a moldy green pepper, bro. You don't want that shit. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Keep it flowing, buddy. Keep it flowing. Dan Lay says, a pepper pepper. Ghost pepper, you got it. All right, let's see it. Maybe another land. Let's get you that low spot, dude. Ooh. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Disrupting Shoal for two. That's not bad. We can work with two. That X don't count as shit. Two CMC, baby. Oh, baby. Okay, yeah. So, so far, you're looking pretty low, dog. Not in the, you know, 
happiness or anything like that in CMC. You're looking pretty low in CMC. Let alone that freaking Cabernet Souls. My God, this shit's so good. So juicy. Oh, man. Miming slimy. Mucinex commercial from Magic the Gathering. Got it. Here we go. Here we go. Mammoth Umbra. Foil fight a fancy. And, oh, baby. Fauna Shaman. Give it to me, girl. It's like 10, 11, 12 bucks. That's also a good, very good card in Commander. Uh, so you're sitting at a total of four CMC right now. Jameen, it's looking really good. Jameen, are you even here, dog? Are you even here watching, bro? Like, literally, you just pulled some straight fire sauce and low CMC? You know what? Just for not commenting anything, I hope you pull 10 right here. I hope you get 10 CMC in this one. 12. Get 12 CMC in this one pack. Just get 12. Just to just ruin your life. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Honestly, good luck to you, buddy. And more and memorial here. Oh, I remember the guy that was on that. Here, he's here is what he's trying to say. Got it. <laughs> All right, here we go, Jameen. Let's see it, buddy. We got 20 people watching tonight. What up, guys? Glad you're uh, just kind of kicking back, relaxing, watching this madness unfold before your very eyes. A crushing canopy. Please don't let this be a crushing blow, dude. Says he's hyperventilating right now. Do I slow roll it? Slow roll the shit out of him. Do it, do it. Okay, yeah, we're going to slow roll this shit. Okay, got it. Peanut Gallery in the back says to slow roll it. I got so many friends. Oh, dad, is that a noble hierarchy? Boop! Yes, it is for one, dude. Holy shit, say it ain't so. You got five CMC, bro. You're looking rather ripe right now. Very good. Very good. You Okay. You set the bar very freaking low, and Obi's got that shit higher than the Eiffel Tower, okay? We got a battle on our hands tonight, folks. Still looking for one more uh, Mythic, and hopefully some more spicy pulls like that freaking Noble Hierarch. Jeff Price into his A. Whoo! Take a breath. Breathe. We don't need to rub, just pump through this shit. Okay, Jeff. You got four packs of absolute gold in your hands. Each one of these is about three-fourths of what an ounce of silver costs right now. That is, you're literally opening parts and bits of silver, depending on how you look at it. You're opening freaking almost an ounce of silver in each freaking pack, dude. Oh, man. Let's see it. I want to see it. Halftime crazy right now, dude. You got to get lower than five. Let's talk some dumpster fire here, okay? You want four lava claw reaches. I don't give a shit, okay? I want four Lava Claw reaches right here and just crush Jameen's night. Make him throw his popcorn on his wife. Whatever you got to do. I'm just kidding, dude. Let's. I would love to see some more Spice pulled. Miraculous Recovery. Is there going to be one? Are you already down and we don't even know it? Like, what's going on here? Is that a foreshadow, bro? Oh, boy. I think that's a foreshadow. What do we got Mirrodin in this set? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, here we go. Pack number one for Mr. Jeff Price. I mean... Give the man some fire, would you? Terramorphic Expanse, dude. I got a Terramorphic Expanse in my pants. Maelstrom Pulse for three. So I, in my box, in my box break with Cards of Michael that he did for me, um, my whole entire box was worth $440, but my box topper was a freaking Maelstrom Pulse. Like anything else besides one of the lands or whatever. We would have been sitting pretty freaking righteous on a way above average box. It already was way above average. But God damn it, I was so pissed to see the Maelstrom Pulse. But you can't be too mad. Here we go, pack number two. Let's see something different. Let's see something a little different than that, maybe. Maybe don't see that ever again, the rest of the box. Please? <laughs> okay, moving on. Pack number two for Mr. Jeff Price. And guys, these will all be getting shipped out tomorrow. Uh, as well as the patron packs and the battle earlier today. I did already ship some of that out today. Could we? Could there be a uh, foil mythic in this box? One in every four. Oh baby, Eldrazi conscription. Uh, that's for that's for eight, dude. That puts you at eleven. And on top of that, that's like a twelve dollar card. So. Not bad. Not bad at all. Those are the cards we want to see in this. Those ones that just got that little bit of dollar value to add. 
so you don't get too crushed. Between you and Matt Ellis, I have won two UMA box toppers. My only ones, and they're both Maelstrom Pulses. No, dude. God damn it, please. Please, you need to pick the box topper then if you win. Because we got to see that shit. Okay? We got to see that shit. If you pull a third Maelstrom Pulse, I will give you a spicy card. Okay? I'm just kidding. Laboratory Maniac, very, very nice. Rally the Peasants. Dude, okay, I kind of feel like... You're going to get a snipe here. A very good sniper, sniper Jones kind of card. Not there. Not there. Four, five. Tessiger, the Golden Fang for six. Okay. What are we at? 17? Yeah, we're definitely at 17 right now. <sighs> Jeff, 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 Jeff. You've got to rip something beautiful here for that CMC. You need nine points to tie it, ten points to beat it. Okay, you need nine to tie, ten to beat. Oh, boy. You got a lot of pressure riding on you. You got a lot of pressure riding on you. Oh, my God. Good luck, my friend. Mike Johnson in the house. What's up, buddy? Mike Johnson's got some spicy stuff going on. Be sure to check out his freaking multi-winner Raz that he's got up. Jesus, but that's some spice, dude. Hero of Lena Tower, Tilted Towers, Fortnite. Wait, what? Fortnite? Okay, moving on. Disregard. I'm about to lose 10 viewers. All right. Ooh. I don't know what's going to do it, man. I don't even know what could do it behind this card. I don't think it's going to be this, though. Oh, man. That was a good card. Revel Arc for five, dude. Yikes, bro. Yikes. 3 plus 8 is 11, plus 6 is 17, plus 5 is 22. Brother, it does not put you ahead of Obi. It does not put you ahead of Obi, Jeff. Thank you for trying, dude. That was a tough battle. That was a that was tough. 20, 26 in the first freaking opening, and then 5 in the third, dude. This is going to be intense. Eddie Lopez, dude, you got some stress coming your way, dog. He says, all good. I'm happy with it. Thank you so much again, Jeff Price. It really means a lot to me, buddy. Um... I appreciate all the support, guys. You allow me to do this for you. It's freaking awesome. Even though I sometimes bash on you. It's the name of the business, dog. The only negative comments you get out of me are when you pull some dumpster juice out of a pack, okay? That's just stuff left on the bottom that you can't just quite get rid of, and it's just always there until maybe you get a new trash can. That's the stuff that we pull and I make fun of sometimes. <laughs> Moving on. Eddie Lopez, he's been getting in on a lot of these battles lately. And uh, let's see if we can pull him some spice tonight. Jesus. You have me sweating over here, dog. Somebody get this guy an icy hot patch or whatever you call it. Pack number one, Glenn Alendra Archmage for four. Where? Oh, my God. Okay, so, Eddie, you got to get less than one. You got to get one or less for the rest of these three packs. Or some straight fire, dude. Obi, Obi, Obi. Are you going to take home the whole freaking victory here, Obi, in pack number one? Or in box? Oh, my God. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Can't be fam without the bash and garbage juice builds character. <laughs> it's true, dude. It really does, man. It really builds some, put some skin on your bones, dude. That's for sure. Some thick skin. Especially in the communities that we deal with out here. Yeesh. Okay. Eddie. Eddie. Oh, man, spoils of the vault, dude. That puts you at five CMC. That puts you at five total. If you get two zeros, you literally tie Jameen for last place. And then we go into tiebreaker mode. And then it even gets more intense. It's like sitting there watching overtime and hockey, just like, Jesus, dude. This could be over any second, bro. Oh, boy. I, I even get nervous for you guys. Like, I get nervous. And these aren't even for me, dog. Like, <laughs> I, get, I can't even imagine being Obi and Jameen right now. Or the guys that are fighting for their lives, dude. I, nope. Uh-uh. Nah. -uh. Oh, man. Oh, reanimate. Reanimate, very nice. But guess what, dude? You are no longer in last place. Oh, yeah, I love hockey, dude. I'm a huge Wild fan. Well, they've been kind of slacking on me lately. But I love hockey games, bro. It's so much fun. We got to reanimate. It's got some value for sure. I've never actually pulled the reanimate box topper. Don't really want to, but that would be cool. That would be really cool. 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. Last pack for Eddie. Please, can we get some fire sauce? Please help my mans out, dude. He's got some low-key, maybe uh, go like a banana pepper at best. Boston Bruins, huh? Damn. Oh, my God. Vexing devil, really? That's what you got to give me at the end here for my man, Eddie Lopez. Not only did you slap him in the face with value, but you literally gave him 7 CMC. You gave him a little bit of hope, Wizard Gods. You crushed him, dude. You kicked him in the face when he was already down. Okay? Help the man. Help him, I said. Help. Jesus. Eddie, dude, you got crushed, bro. Eddie, you pulled some straight dumpster juice, dude. You got hosed. No, you got all freaking sorts of modified organisms that you just ate. Genetically modified organisms. All of the above, dude. You just got hosed, dude. I'm so sorry, Eddie Lopez. That is not what we want to see on this channel, okay? That is not what we want to see. I, I hope you can sleep tonight, because that one hurts me. Um, my very first game outside of the state for hockey was in Chicago. It was 2016 or 15. During the playoffs, it was the one that moved forward to the finals. It was the Wild versus Chicago Blackhawks. Dude, it was the most insane Epic thing ever. The entire national anthem, you know how you're silent? Not in Chicago, dog. From the beginning to the end, it gets louder and louder and louder and louder, and people are just rooting and cheering for their country, bro. That was the most epic experience I've ever had with hockey. It was in Chicago. Low-key didn't care that I was getting chewed out for wearing a wild jersey because it was all worth it, bro. I think I even gave a guy five bucks for McDonald's. I don't remember. Anyways... Brandon, last hope here. Brandon, you are last hope, dog. We need some help, okay? We need you to be 26 or get lower than five. It's going to be very, very difficult. It's going to be very difficult, my friend. Those are numbers you don't see every day. Maybe I'll get lucky and get the high and low. <laughs> Yikes, dog. Nice, I was at Game 7 Stanley Cup with the win. was an unreal experience. Oh, my God. Omaha high and low. Very nice. Okay, engineered explosives. Dude, that's zero. That's zero CMC off the rip. That is zero CMC. Jameen, dude, are you, how you doing, Jameen? Are you okay over there? Are you still hyperventilating right now? Because this dude just got zero. He's fighting for last right now. He's definitely fighting for last. Oh, man. Yikes, dude. Oh, Brandon. Brandon, Brandon. Dude got five. Dude's got five slots. This guy's got the most unrealistic luck in the entirety of this group's existence, bro. He's got five slots out of 226 being a patron at 25 bucks a month and wins the VIP pack today. That was absolutely insane. Was feeling better going for the high. I don't know, man. You might get the low now, dog. I don't know. Yeesh. Uh-uh-uh. Oh, no. Talran Sky Summoner it for four. Jameen, it's looking pretty juicy for you, dog. For that low spot, dude. Four. That shit's sketchy, dog. You need to get some zeros. You need to get some zeros now. We don't want to see a tiebreaker, dude. That shit gets brutal. People pay me for addresses when they lose tiebreakers, okay? People pay me for your address, Okay. Just know that. I'm just kidding. That does not happen. My five VIP packs off of two spots has got to come close. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, man. Here we go. Here we go. Pack number three for Mr. Brandon. Whew. Let's, let's slow roll this guy here. It is rare. Oh, Daybreak Hornet, dude. Not a, not a bad card. Don't even try to sugarcoat it, bro. Dude lost. Dude just lost. Son of a bitch. Jameen, that puts you in the, the low spot. Can we at least... Can we at least... We pulled three Mythics so far out of this box. I know sometimes you get three. Average is about four in a box. I'm hoping we can get one more. I'm hoping we can get one more Mythic. 
was a balefire, Karn, and Cavern of Souls so far. Is there one more hiding out in here? We really shuffled the shit out of these cards, so I don't know. Maybe there is. Maybe there's not. Would love to see a Mana Vault, dude. That would just really top things off here and make me not feel like such a piece. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Don't, don't, don't. So it's a common safe hold elite, dude. It is a rare. Oh my god, pattern of rebirth, dope ass art, but dude. Brandon, you Ooh, Jesus. Jesus. What happened? What happened? You got four? So eight plus two is ten total CMC. Yikes, stock. Brandon, you got destroyed, dude. Oh, man. Yikes. Let's go ahead and package this up. So our winners tonight are Obi and Jameen. Obi, you got the highest. So you get a pick between a VIP pack out of a fresh inner case or the box topper of this booster box. So you let me know what you want while I package this up for peeps. And then we're going to see what we got. Chilling. Okay. And then uh, I have three more VIP packs. If there's anybody willing or wanting to sponsor some VIP packs, it's 100 bucks a pack. Just let me know. Otherwise, we're going to call this the stream tonight. Uh, I've got a lot going on tomorrow. I'm in the process of some big shipments coming on in. I uh, traded some, some juice for some Juicy Sealed product. Um, so, yeah. Congratulations, Obi. And congratulations, Jameen. And thank you to everybody else who sponsored in on this box break. This was absolutely fun. It was very fun. Uh, this this is my favorite. Probably my favorite second to VIP packs. Dayton says grab the VIP. Dayton says to grab the VIP, Obi. But let me tell you right now, Obi. These box toppers and Ultimate Masters are only going to appreciate some major value. Not saying that Double Masters isn't either. I'm banking a lot of my uh, investments on Double Masters product currently right now. So, dude, you're really in a pickle. C good luck. I will say that Liliana one day is probably going to be worth more than the Force of Will. So, you'd be really shooting for Liliana or Cavern of Souls. Uh, those are going to be some good ones to get. Demonic Tutor, obviously, too. Oof, dude, yeah, you got a tough decision on your hands, buddy. I'm glad I'm not you. I'm glad it's not me, dog. <laughs> oh, man. I would honestly let fate decide, Obi. You want me to decide for you? Odd, odd roll, you get the box topper. Even roll, you get a VIP pack. Let me know, dude. Let me know if you want the fates to decide. I always let fate decide. When I can't make the decision myself, I freaking let the fates decide, dude. That's on God, bro. That's on God. <laughs> you leave that God's hand. Let the fates decide. So odds you're getting the box topper, even you're getting the VIP pack. Oh, oh shit, dude. He said, let the fates decide. Oh, man. Jameen, Jameen. Okay, before I let the fates decide, what would you pick, Jameen? What would you pick, dog? Like, talk, talk to me. Real talk. Jameen, I know you're watching, bro. What would you pick? Would you pick the VIP or the box topper? We're still going to let the fates decide, but I want to hear from Jameen. I want to hear what you got to say. And let me finish packaging this up, dude. Holy shit, this is intense. The fates gave me the win. That's for damn sure they did. That's for damn sure. Jameen's like, I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> we got the fresh VIP packs over here chilling. That I will cut out here in just a sec. Might go box. Might go box topper, he says. Yeah, shit's juicy, man. I'm telling you. All right, Michael Butler. And then after I package up Michael Butler here, we're going to let the fates decide, folks. Oh, man, he did pull some spice. That juicy son of a bitch. He got the Karn. That's right, he got the Karn. Oof. I've opened a lot of VIP from you. He said I might go box topper. All right. Obi, just about done here packaging out Michael Butler's stuff, and then we're going to let the fates decide. If we roll an odd number, buddy, you're, Obi, you're going to get the box topper, and if we roll an even number, we're going to get the VIP. After I roll, I will give you five seconds to change your mind. 
okay? Just to make it even more miserable for you. I'll give you five seconds to change your mind. That way, for some reason, I gave you the opportunity and if you pull some dumpster fire, nothing can be blamed on me. Okay, we're about to roll here. We're about to roll here. Get that shit out of the way. Okay. Um, where's that dice tower you were talking about? It's honestly right over here. Hold on. Let me get that shit. Uh, got this. Where is the base of it? I gotta find the base of it. That's the bigger question. Where is the base of that son of a bitch? Oh my god. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Dude, I got too much shit, guys. I got too much shit. What's going on over here? Too many boxes, bro. I can't find the base right now. Oh, man, I can't find the base. Unless it's, like, in there. You know what I mean? I can just run it like this. So I'll roll it down. It falls through. Right on the bottom, right? Hold on one second. So that comes down. Sorry. The shit's, uh... Got me just fucking whacked out here. It's been a while since I used this. Okay. Okay, we're doing it. We're just gonna run it like this. Dice tower inbound. Okay. Odds is the box topper, even is the VIP. It's an odd! <laughs> oh, dude, it's an odd! So that means it's a box topper. You got five, four, three, two, a one... We opening a box topper for Obi Cortez, bro. Oh, shit. Odds is a box topper, bro. Oh, man. Okay, okay. Give me a second while I open. This shit's worth more than a gram of gold right now. This pack unopened is worth more than a gram of gold. Oh, shit. I hate opening these, dude. I get so nervous opening these. I do have some scissors. Nope, we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. We got it, we got it. We got it. Be very, very careful. Now, is this something you want me to like peek at before I show it to you? A little bit of curling on there. I got a nice little sleeve for you, buddy. I kinda wanted to do a little underdog here. Try to keep it on camera. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're gonna flip it. Flip it. Boom. An Eternal Witness box topper. I don't even know how much that is worth, so I couldn't tell you if this is bad or good. I think this is like 70 or 80 bucks, I wanna say. So there's your box topper, bro. Let me get it in a nice little sleeve for you. Uh, definitely not one of the juiciest ones I would like to have seen. But you got the eternal witness. That was the fates, dog. The fates decided that. Okay? That was on them. That was on the fates, bro. Eternal witness. I could, I mean, all these prices on these box tappers are going to go, like, through the roof. Because the boxes are almost all gone on TCG Player. So, hold on to this. Definitely hold on to it. Let it appreciate in value. Obi. But hey, congratulations. I mean, you got the box topper, dude. Better than Maelstrom Paul, so I'm okay with it. The fates decided. Yeah, dude. Uh, somebody wants to look up the price on this one. I think it's like 60 to 80 bucks, bro. So, I mean, it's not terrible, dude. It's definitely not bad. 60 bucks, says JR. 61.49 market, James Fowler. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, definitely not terrible, bro. And then, um, Jameen, are we going <laughs> to... Jameen, are we going to pull you a force of will, bro? I mean, let's talk about it. Eternal Witness, Demonic Tutor, and Tomb, like all his dust, Balefire. Bro, I mean, you did you did, you did, did just fine. You made out just fine, okay? So I wouldn't beat yourself up too bad. Yeah, you definitely did have some good pulls, bro. I mean, all of them were worth money except for Rhea Donbringer. What is she, 60 cents? Is that what Rhea's worth nowadays? Pretty sure she was in one of my commander decks, so I'm going to go with, yeah. And then Eternal Witness, come on in for the flippity flop. Here we go, here we go. <sighs> Jameen, Jameen, Jameen. Jameen, we gotta open a VIP pack for you. Okay. Congrats, Jameen. 
you have won the VIP pack. There's Obi. Get you all packaged in there. Again, guys, I will send these out tomorrow and then uh, contact me for your tracking number. I know a lot of people just, the shit shows up and they're good with it from my experience on the Bash Fam. So I don't really reach out to every person that I ship because normally when I ship, it's like 50 packages and I'm a little slow on messaging people. So if you want your tracking number, please message me tomorrow. I normally make a post saying like, hey, everybody, everything's shipped. Except I'm not posting pictures of my face anymore because I just can't get it right with my mask. <laughs> okay. Jameen, I'm going to let you pick. He said, Force or Mana Vault? Oh, really? You want a Mana Vault out of here? Sorry to crush your dreams, but it's a Crypt Dog. My brother Nate Roush thinks that the uh, Crypt is going to go above in price than the Force of Will. And I've personally pulled more forces than Mana Crypts. Oh, yeah. Do you want one, two, three, or four? Look at this one, okay? This one looks a little weird. So maybe go with that one? I don't know. That would be number four. That would be me. But uh, I let the fates decide for Obi, and he kind of got hit in the face with a metal bat. I don't know. It's up to you, Doc. One, two, three, or four. Pick your pack. I'm tempted to buy a VIP pack. Chris, dude, fucking help yourself, man. We got three left. And then you guys are going to have to wait till Monday for my other shipments of crazy goodness that's coming. Oh, man, it's going to be nuts. Uh, my supply on VIP packs, he says roll a die. I think I actually have a dice in here. That's just one through four. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. He said two. Okay, he said two. Um, so, guys, yeah, I'm huge into the VIP. Um, my guy that had a shit ton of them he's i've actually bought so much from him he literally had to increase the price on him for me because he was running so low obi says i'll buy number four he wants this one okay um he was running so low that he just is like dude you've been buying so many from me like i hate to do this to you buddy but i'm i'm down to my last couple of cases i gotta increase the price so doesn't i'm not gonna increase the price for you guys it's still 100 bucks a piece not for you, Jameen. You won this one. Obi, it is 100 bucks to the face for you, my friend. So uh, without further ado, Jameen, let's crack this, buddy. Let's crack this bad boy. You won the Masters, the Ultimate Masters VIP pack of the battle. You got the lowest CMC with five. Let's see what we can get. Anyways, guys, moral of the story I'm trying to get at is I will soon not be getting these anymore, okay? I've been getting them for the past, like, three months, and the prices are creeping up heavily right now and all of the cards that you can get out of these because these are dwindling away and when i tell you dwindling away i'm telling you right now that they're almost out of product I, I mean i've got people from other content creators calling me ordering them cases and stuff because they don't know where else to get it so literally i'm gonna get i have these three and then I, i'll buy number three too oh my god i mean you psychopath okay and then Bruce wants to buy one. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me... Okay, that's it. That's all of them. They're all sold now. This is Bruce. Because I'm telling you, as soon as... Yeah, I'm, I'm about to not have these. Obi over here. Jameen wants another one. Psycho. You haven't, I haven't even opened the first one for you. He's <laughs> like, I'm just... Buy. I'm, I'm definitely giving you the uh, fear missing out here speech, for sure. And I... <laughs> Hyping it up a little bit, but uh, now the shit's almost gone, fam. And the stuff that's going to be left, I'm telling you, these boxes could hit anywhere from 110 to 130 a box. Like, I mean, it's just going to get nuts. The market of Magic and all card products are all just going through the roof. And it's not slowing down anytime soon. So get them all, get them all you can while they're cheap, dude. All right. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Jameen, this is your free VIP pack that you worked hard for. You won it in the battle. Epic battle. First one here. Stoneware Giant. I always love seeing the Mythics right behind here, right off the rip. But we're not going to see one right here. Obi paid upward. Okay. Toxic Day Lose. This is like up to 26 bucks right now, so that's spicy. Scott M. Fisher, dude. <laughs> My God! No, 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 no. We got a Scott M. Fisher, dog. Oh, no, dad. 
Dad, is it here? Are we home? Are we home here, Dad? <laughs> Dad? Are you there? Holy shit! Oh my god, dude. If this is a Kalia, I'm gonna flip the fucking table. Been a minute since we've seen you, dog. You coming out to play? You coming out to play, bro? Jimmy, what do you think it is, bro? Where are you at, Jimmy? Quit eating the popcorn and talk to me. What do you think you got, dude? Do you think you got the force or do you think you got Kalia? To me, dude, I going with the force of will. This shit is nutty, bro. Dude, I'm going to wait to hear back from Jimmy before I open this shit because I want to hear what he said. Oh, no, man. I don't know. It's going to be heartbreaking. It's going to be heartbreaking if it's Kalia. Is that fours? Oh, you son of a bitch! It's a Kalia! No! No! Why, guy? Why? You had to tease me like that, Paul. Why would you do that to me? Damn, son. Woo! Woo! Shit's getting hot over here, bro. It's getting hotter than hell over here. God damn! Why are you going to do that shit, Paul? It's way too slow of a roll. God damn, I'm sorry. Dude, you got you got a Kalia. I'm telling you, all the cards in this set are going up. That's going up. Toxic Day Loose is going up. I just disrespected your card. I'm sorry. Whew, that shit was hot, bro. That was hotter than freaking Hades, dude, when he freaking turned into a hot lady for Hercules. Oh, my God. Okay. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong thing. He seduced, like, a hot lady. Yep. Okay, whatever. Had a crush, obviously, if you can tell. Um, I forget her name, dude, but she was Hercules' girl, man. She was hot. <laughs> Jameen, damn. Well, you got a Kalia. Not bad. Totally, bro, hands down, I thought it was a force. That's on God, dude. I thought it was a force, for real. Um, you got one more pack, Jameen. Jameen, right? You wanted another pack, correct? Is that what I'm hearing? Is that what I heard from the peanut gallery earlier? Talk to me. Bro, remember when you pulled this? Yeah, okay, I do too. Holy shit. I forgot. I forgot. Obviously, that's why I said that. Persephone! Yes, dude. Thank you, Obi. May the gods of Persephone bless your freaking pack. Okay. Um, let me package up your Ultimate Masters pack battle here. And then we're going to open that up for you. Dude! There are so many cards now that you can pull out of the VIP. It's like It was like the beginning... Of purchasing VIPs right now. All the prices are so high, dude. Doubling season, 150. Blightsteel Colossus is up there. Sword and Feast and Famine, 150. I mean, the shit's just out of whack right now, dude. It's absolutely insane. I'm so happy with how the prices are going up. Because my little stack of cards over here on my right is going... <laughs> Meg. Oh, yeah, it is Meg, dude. What am I thinking? Thank you for that. Okay, okay, got this packaged up. Let's go ahead and open your next VIP pack. Um, Obi, I got your money for this. Uh, Bruce, I don't think I saw your money yet. And Jameen, uh, I, I'm going to get you guys' money. I trust everybody here, so I'm just going to open this all up right now. Well, I have everybody here. Good luck, Mr. Jameen, my friend. Hoping we can pull you. Can we... Dude, don't even... I, I honestly would pay money to see another Kalia. <laughs> like, just to have that intense shit go on again, dude. That was crazy. Okay. Meg was the movie. Persephone was Hades' wife in mythology. Oh. Oh, now we get... Okay. Who was the... Uh, who's the guy that traveled the seas? Now that we're talking about Greek mythology. They had like seven books on him or some shit. I don't even know if he was a demigod or not. I remember reading a book on him. I don't. I can't think of his name. If somebody says it, I will know immediately. Wasn't. Um, it's definitely not Poseidon. Just so you know. He says we'll send in a few. Hannah's ship navigator. Do you mean? No. Oh, we got a mythic. Boom. Sword of War and Peace. Nice. Odyssey is Odysseus. Odysseus, bro. Who is Odysseus again? Is that the guy that traveled the seas? So we got a mythic, dude. I love hitting these, man. These are just those little bonus little whoop whoop 
Oops, uh, give you a little pat on the back for that one, buddy. That's, you son of a bitch. Don't you forget. I have pulled a force of will behind one of these, okay? I have pulled a force of will behind Goblin Guide. I pulled a force of will behind Brainstorm. And I pulled force of will behind a meddling mage, dude. Straight. I'm, I mean, I don't know, dude. Dan Dos Santos, bro. This is a mythic, dude. This is a mythic. Yep, okay. This is a sword? This is a sword. Shit, is it? I've opened so many of these, bro. I should know by now. Dan Dos Santos. It's not, it's not Mana Crypt. That guy's Spencer. Uh, this is uh, Fire and Ice, isn't it? Isn't it Fire and Ice? Yep! Booyah! Fire and Ice! Very nice hit. Booyah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Dayton Wheeler just said fire and ice. Yep, nice. I just remembered at the very last second that it's fire and ice. Very nice hit, dude. This is, I think this is over 100 bucks now too right now. So very nice. You got two swords in one pack. Two girls in one cup. Wait, I mean two swords in one pack. Just keep it PG. Is it 80 the low? 80 is the low on that right now. That shit creeped all the way down to like 60 bucks, bro. This is nuts. I did not see that coming. Okay, here we go. All right, Jameen, congrats on that pack. That was definitely worth your money, bro, uh, in my opinion. So, congrats. You did it. You can tell your mama you made it. For real? Damn. Yeah, I thought it was over 100. I thought it was creeping. Maybe it's mid-market that's over 100 now. Or like 98, 90 or something. Anyways, any hoosers. Moving on to... Let's go with Obi Cortez because that dude said it first before Bruce. He said money is sent. He's, he sent the money. You get? Do you see that, guys? Did you see that? He sent the money after I opened the pack. He's like, you know what? Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll actually, I kind of want that pack. I'll send the money. <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. I'm just kidding. That's just funny, though. That's just funny, though. How I think like that sometimes. Obi want to blow me. Let's go. That was rude. Sorry, 95 min. Thank you, Dayton. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I want to see, dude, I want to see so many things right now. I want to see so many things. Let's back this up a little bit. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at the aesthetics of that. What's happening there? What's it? What is it? Oh, that's a, he's, he's ripping the night in half. Okay, never mind. Cover it up. <laughs> Cover it up. Feeding the baby dragon. Oh, foreshadow. Doubling season. Double. Vouvant. Does he have the force again? I got the force, baby. I got the force. If you hadn't have given him that heart attack with the super slow roll, he might have got his wallet faster. <laughs> Dude, somebody get this guy some blood pressure medication for real. I'd be causing some straight heart attacks out here. And that shit's on purpose, so I apologize. <laughs> okay he got the weird box too yeah this one's gonna be good this one's gonna be good okay right there i think i see oh i think i already know what's in this i think i know what's in this pack i don't want to say it because i don't want to ruin it but i'm guessing something i think it's a sword all right first rare is a flooded grove very nice with a it counsels judgment okay thank you bruce Ooh, the blood moon skis. The blood moon. Okay, here we go. Oh, baby. Friends, Vahinki. Vahinki. It is a sword. It is a sword. It is a sword of war and peace. It is a sword of war and peace. This is just pushing past, I think, the $30 range now, too. 37 at mid right now, I think. Maybe 40 now. Blood moon's going up there in price, dude. Plus, those two rares are equal to about, you know, eight, nine, ten bucks. So, that's actually not a bad pack overall. Very nice. A couple of very juicy lands, too. Yeah, overall, you got your money back, I would have to say, if not close. Um, So, yeah, definitely hold on to your cards here, guys, for a little bit at least. If you're trying to new, do some long-term gains, it's going to be some product you want to hold on to. If you're looking to flip fast, then I would probably do it right now. 
But like me, I'm actually sending in a ton of cards to get graded. I'm sketched out right now to grade them because I don't know what the hell's going to come to it. But if I don't see them for another six years, I guess that's on me. I don't know, man. 36 mid. Okay, yeah, so I thought, you know, 37, 36. What did I say, 40? It's close. I was close. All right, Obi. There's your pack. What's the mid on uh, Blood Moon? 23, 65? Is it? And we're moving on to Bruce. Last VIP pack currently in my possession. Um, so let's see if we can pull that Spice Bruce. This is the last one I have until like Monday or Tuesday. I want to see it. I want to see the gold. I want to see that fire sauce. Blood Moon is 33. Holy shit. See, yeah, they... I don't know, man. This shit's nuts. Last pack of the night, guys. I'm going to wrap this up. Got everybody's stuff packaged up. I'm going to get it put into shipment mailers tomorrow morning and go out tomorrow before 2 p.m. So... Thank you guys all to everyone who sponsored packs this week. It was a lot of them. Uh, a lot of battles. A lot of juicy battles, dude. I've got some more TSR, some more VIP packs coming. I've got some Zendikar Rising Collectors. And then we're just around the corner for Strixhaven, dude. Shit's going to be bonkers, bro. It's going to be bonkers, bro. Bruce. Bruce Wayne, everybody. Coming out from the Batcave says, let me get this last one. Okay. Chief of the Found, Chief of the Foundry, Fire Lit Thicket, not bad. Ratchet Bomb, Megan Lee Stallion making an appearance, Cardi B coming in behind, which is a uh, meddling mage. No, Fatal Push, she pushing that ass back up on you though, dog, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh no, Dad! What's going on, baby? We got a Ron Spency, dude. We talking no a guaranteed hundred dollar bill. Oh my God, what is that? Three oh. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so it's either Sword of Feast and Famine, Sword of Feast and Famine, Doubling Season, or Mana Crypt. Okay, I'll tell you right now which one it is. No, it ain't no Rift. Oh, yo, dude. I think I know what it is. I picked the wrong box, bro. He said, I picked the wrong box. Oh, no, dude. I think I know what it is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Should we bless it? Should we bless it? Should we bless that shit? Bless it. Bless it. Bless it. Bless it. <laughs> okay. Is it? Is it that? Is it that? Is it? Shoop. Boom! Oh my god. Oh, damn, son. Oh my damn, there it is. You done made an appearance, you son of a bitch. Woo! Woo! That's a spicy one. Oh shit, I'm shaking right now. Oh, that's awesome, bro. That is an awesome freaking pull. God, I love seeing Ron Spencer, bro. It's just as juicy as a Scott M. Fisher, baby. Because you got nothing but good cards. Like, it's one of those three. Holy shit, Obi. Holy shit, Obi. Nice pull, buddy. Nice pull. Woo oh, man. Let's get it. Hard sleeve for the boy. Hard sleeve for the boy. Oh, baby. Baby girl, come on down. 250 mid all day. Shit is going up, baby. Whoo. Yep. There it is, buddy. There's your mana crib, Bruce. Congratulations. Thank you to everybody sponsoring packs tonight. Hold your cards from Double Masters. Hold them, hold them. They're going to go up in price. It's just going to happen. It's just the name of the game. Watch that Force of Will and Mana Crypt price, bro. That doubling season is becoming iconic too, dude. That shit's becoming way popular. Watch that price too, man. Oh, Bruce, what a beautiful hit, dude. What a beautiful fucking opening tonight, dude. 
All right, man. Bash fam. Stay tuned. Stay groovy. 1346 mid on fatal push. Just icing on top of the cake, dude. God damn. That was fun as fuck, dude. Excuse my language. I'm just in it right now. I'm in the mood. That was hype beast mode. <laughs> All right, guys. That was, that was not a bad inner case. Like, overall, that was not a bad inner case. That was insane. All right, Bash fam. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. You guys have a great night. Be sure to share the group with your friends and family. Let them check out the YouTube channel. Check out the Patreon. Everything, dude. We got big things coming our way in the Bash fam. Some juicy giveaways are currently still on the get-go here for the end of April. Uh, 1,500 members in the Facebook group is what we're trying to hit. It's been a little slow process, but everyone's busy. Everyone's got their thing going on, and it is hard to share the group because it is private, but I have it private just so we don't get some bullshit-ass people in here. So um, with that being said, uh, you know, copy and paste the invite button to other groups and whatnot. Do your thing. I'm definitely doing a lot of self-promotion right now this week. Anyways, take it easy. Peace to half out, dude. This was fun, and thank you, as always, for supporting the group. It's such a blast. You guys are amazing. Peace.